With E3 2017 well underway, we go back and take a look at the highlights from each of the major conferences. I'm Darblade, and in this episode we're going to take a look at the Nintendo Spotlight. Nintendo for years have not done a traditional conference at E3, instead opting for a pre-made video presentation. This, while it cuts down on time, feels a little less personal than the conferences put on by some of the other companies, but nonetheless it allows Nintendo to focus on the point at hand. And while there were a fair few titles covered during the spotlight, there were a few that stood out for me. Before I get into the highlights though, two mentions would be going to the announcement of a Pokemon RPG for Switch, as well as Metroid Prime 4. Although they were announced, there was no gameplay or any feature length trailer shown for these games, so they must be really in early development. But anyway, moving on to the first highlight. The first highlight goes to Yoshi, a nice, cute, adorable looking platformer that seemed to take influences from Yoshi's woolly world. Although this time, the world is made up of real life objects. However, Yoshi himself is still made out of yarn, it looks like. Anyway, the game looked cute, but unfortunately, the release date is a vague 2018. The next highlight goes to Kirby. Nintendo seemed to have dropped subtitles under their characters' games. So this is just called Kirby. It looks fun, it looks entertaining, colourful. It's a platformer like you would expect from a Kirby game, except this time it can be played in multiplayer with multiple people. The trailer they showed us, which showed us various types of gameplay styles, had up to four people in it. Again though, we were given a vague release date of 2018. The next highlight goes to Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I already talked about this game a fair bit during the Ubisoft press conference highlights, but this game still looks so tantalising. Combining Mario, with Rabbids from Ubisoft, they've created this strategic game that looks really in depth. And I've heard people call it Mario XCOM, as it seems to take a lot of gameplay influences from that franchise. I'm looking forward to this game, and if I ever do pick up a Switch, it's a game that I'm probably definitely gonna pick up. The game is also just around the corner, being released on August 29th, 2017. And the final highlight from Nintendo goes to Super Mario Odyssey. Again, we were given another wonderful trailer that demonstrated the different gameplay elements that focused this time on Mario's hat, as well as the gorgeous worlds and environments we will be exploring. It seems to be moving away from the 2D Mario games and going back to the 3D Mario games like Super Mario Galaxy and such. There was also a mechanic shown off that revolved around Mario's hat, pretty much mind controlling enemies, turning you into those enemies. This could potentially allow for some very unique gameplay moments. Whilst there are some confusing elements, like there are actually real people in some areas of the game, I'm sure this will be explained. However, suspension of disbelief may be required. But nonetheless, it does look good. It looks entertaining and it looks, more importantly, fun. So I cannot wait. The only trouble is, we're going to have to wait till the 27th of October 2017 before we can get our hands on it. Overall, Nintendo's spotlight was fairly short, but like I said, it allowed them to cram in the important stuff. There was a few speeches from Nintendo developers and such, and they seemed pleased that the Nintendo Switch was being well received. But anyway, what were your favorite bits of the Nintendo Spotlight? Leave a comment down below. And until next time, I've been Darblade, bringing you another E3 2017 highlight video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and like for more.